Yuzik Hauri Setipan Setnekta was the first pharaoh of the 20th dynasty of the New Kingdom of Ancient Egypt and the father of Ramesses III. Setnekta was not the son, brother or a direct descendant of the previous two pharaohs, either Tusret or Mernet de Sibta, nor that of Sibta's predecessor Seti II, whom Setnekta formally considered the last legitimate ruler. It is possible that he was an usurper who seized the throne during a time of crisis and political unrest, or he could have been a member of a minor line of the Ramesside royal family who emerged as pharaoh. He married Queen Tiy Marines, perhaps a daughter of Merentar. A connection between Setnek's successes and the preceding 19th dynasty is suggested by the fact that one of Ramesses II's children also bore this name and that similar names are shared by Setnek's descendants such as Ramesses, Amun Herkep Chef, Seth Herkep Chef and Munthu Herkep Chef, reign length. Setnekta was originally believed to have enjoyed a reign of only two years based upon his year two elephantine stella, but his third regnal year is now attested in inscription number 271 on Mount Sinai. If his theoretical accession date is assumed to be to Shemu 10, based on the date of his elephantine stella, Setnekta would have ruled Egypt for at least two years and eleven months before he died, or nearly three full years. This date is only three months removed from Tusrit's highest known date of year 8, 3 per at 5, and is based upon a calculation of Ramesses III's known accession date of Ishemu 26. Peter Clayton also assigned Setnik to a reign of three years in his 1994 book on the Egyptian pharaohs. In a mid-January 2007 issue of the Egyptian weekly Al Aram, however, Egyptian antiquity officials announced that a recently discovered and well-preserved court stella belonging to the high priest of Amun Bakenkunsu was explicitly dated to year four of Setnik's reign. The al Aram article notes that this data contradicts dot the official record, which says Setnekta ruled Egypt for only three years. According to the new information provided by the Stella, Setnekta's reign certainly lasted for four years, and may have continued for a little longer, Zai Hawass. The former Secretary-General of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities declared the discovery to be one of the most important finds of 2006 because it adjusts the history of the 20th dynasty and reveals more about the life of Bakken Kunsu, as Setnik's reign was short. He may have come to the throne fairly late in life. However, the al Aram figure does not change the fact that Setnikta likely truly ruled Egypt for only three, rather than four, full years since there are no year one dates attested for him and his famous year two elephantine stella states that Setnikta finally secured his kingship after defeating all his opponents and challenges to the throne in his second year. The date of the elephantine stella in year 2 to Shemu day 10 of Setnek's reign, the date of which is mentioned only halfway in the stella rather than at its start, is immediately followed by this proclamation. There were no opponents against His Majesty, L. P. H. In all the lands, this reference to the defeat of Setnek's enemies implies that this specific date marked the termination of a conflict, presumably Setnek's struggle for the throne, which extended partly into his second year and means that Setnek's first year would have overlapped with Tusret's final year, if Tusret was his opponent. Therefore, he likely did not even rule Egypt in his theoretical first year and could only properly administer the country from some time during his second year. In any event, there was an interregnum lasting at least a year in which no ruler controlled all of Egypt and Setnik's effective reign length should be reduced by a year from four to three years. Setnek's elephantine stella touches on this chaotic period and refers explicitly to the expulsion of certain Asiatics, who fled Egypt, abandoning the gold which they looted from Egyptian temples behind. It is uncertain the degree to which this inscription referred to contemporary events or rather repeated anti-Asiatic sentiment from the reign of Pharaoh Amos I. 
Setniks are identified with the god Atum or Temu, and built a temple to this god at Per Atum. Monuments While Setniks' reign was still comparatively brief, it was just long enough for him to stabilize the political situation in Egypt and establish his son, Ramesses III, as his successor to the throne of Egypt. The Bakenkunsu Stella reveals that it was Setnikta who began the construction of a temple of Amun Re in Karnak, which was eventually completed by his son, Ramesses III. Setnikta also started work on a tomb, KV 11, in the Valley of the Kings, but stopped it when the tomb carvers accidentally broke into the tomb of the 19th dynasty pharaoh Amun Mesa. Setnikta then appropriated the tomb of Queen Tusret, his predecessor, for his own use. Setnik's origins are unknown, and he may have been a commoner, although many Egyptologists believe he was related to the previous dynasty, the 19th, through his mother and may thus have been a grandson of Ramesses II. Setnik's son and successor, Ramesses III, is regarded as the last great king of the New Kingdom. Papyrus Harris. The beginning of the Great Harris Papyrus or Papyrus Harris I, which documents the reign of Ramesses III, provides some details about Setnik's rise to power. An excerpt of James Henry Breasted's 1906 translation of this document is provided below. The land of Egypt was overthrown from without and every man was thrown out of his right, they had no chief mouth for many years formerly until other times. The land of Egypt was in the hands of chiefs and of rulers of towns, one slew his neighbor, great and small, other times having come after it with empty years, IRSU, a certain Syrian was with them as chief, he set plundering their possessions, they made gods like men, and no offerings were presented in the temples. But where the gods inclined themselves to peace, to set the land in its rights according to its accustomed manner, they established their son, who came forth from their limbs, to be ruler, LPH, of every land, upon the great throne, Yuzik Kauri Seti Mer Yamun, LPH, the son of Re, Setnikt Mariah Mer Yamun, LPH, he was Kaprai Set. When he is enraged, he set in order the entire land which had been rebellious, he slew the rebels who were in the land of Egypt, he cleansed the great throne of Egypt, he was ruler of the two lands, on the throne of Atom, he gave ready faces to those who had been turned away, every man knew his brother who had been walled in. He established the temples in possession of divine offerings, to offer to the gods according to their customary stipulations, until 2000. Chancellor Bey was considered the only plausible candidate for this IRSU. However, an IFAO ostrich and no. 1864 found at Deir el Medina dated to year 5 records that Pharaoh LPH has killed the great enemy, Bey because Chancellor Bey died at least three years before this IRSU, he can no longer be considered a plausible candidate for this historical figure. After his death, Setnikta was buried in KV-14 which was originally designed to be Tusrit's royal tomb. Bibliography James H. Breasted, Ancient Records of Egypt, Volume No. 4, Eric Horn Nung, Unter such Ung and Er Chronology and Geschichte des Neuen Reiches, J. von Beckerart, Chronology des Pharaonischen Egyptin, Philip von Zabin, pp. 94-98 and pp. 201-202.